Okay. You may start now, Ruto. Uh, you are muted. You are muted. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much for letting me to give this talk. Uh, in this talk, I want to introduce uh, the work and twisted ghetto equivalence, which is a work of uh, Roman Kevin King and uh, myself. So, uh, so now let me share my screen. Uh, Uh, can you see it? Uh, yes. Can you see my screen? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. We can. Okay. Okay. So now let's start. Um, the work and twist it. Yato. Equivalence. A work of uh, Roman Tavon King and myself. Uh, to start with, let us first uh, introduce some notations used in our talk. Uh, we let f the ct uh, the the field of a Lohan series, and by o uh, the ring of formal Papa series. Given a group G, we denote by gf uh, the loop group of G and by GO, which is a subgroup of GF, the arc group of G. And the way they know by GERG, which is a quotient of GF by GO, which it is called the Fengras manion. Uh, in our talk, our talk will be divided into four parts. Uh, the first part, uh, I will introduce some history or uh, the motivation. Uh, the second part, I will go to the statement of the untwisted Giotto conjecture. And uh, for the third part, uh, I will uh, uh, briefly sketch the proof of uh, the main theorem. And uh, the fourth part, I will introduce a symmetric, a symmetric definition of uh, the Giardo category. Okay, so now let us start. Let's start. Uh, it is expected that the category of uh, the modules or the category of force shift on a Bangor's manion with certain equivalent um, condition can be used to describe the category of uh, representations over a certain group. There are some important examples. Uh, maybe the first, uh, may maybe the most well-known example, it is, oh, sorry, uh, it is the first part history. Uh, the first, uh, the, uh, the best well-known uh, example is a geometric static equivalence. At the abelian category level, it says the category of a GO equivalent for its shape on the Pangrass manion, G, it is equivalent to the category of a, uh, the heart, the heart of the category of the representations over G check. Here, G check, it is the long length dual group of G. But note that this equivalence, it's not true at all. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, sorry, uh, sorry, Ruta. And what is heart? A uh, heart, uh, I mean, uh, given. Uh, a triangle, a triangle, a triangulated 
category, we can uh, we have a T structure and we can consider its heart. I mean, the crisp, uh, uh, the heart, it is an abelian category. Uh, it, uh, it is uh, an abelian category. I mean, it is the intersection of a uh, I mean, given a category C, I mean, the tri tri triangle related category, and we let C heart be a C. So it is a definition of heart, or uh, just the just the euro category of a representations, a uh, finite dimensional representations over the check. One more general question: I find Grassmannian you consider just formally. There is no some conditions that were originally in the works of Japanese group about Fred Gordon compact uh, operator that are projection, just formal, no uh, assumption on the convergence of series, nothing, just formal series. Is it, am I correct? Uh, yes. Yeah, but, but wait me a moment, let me close my window. I mean, the noise here is, uh, it is quite big. So he considers uh, Grassmannian just as an algebraic variety, as a union of yes. finite dimensional Sch Schubert varieties. So in the projective variety. Yes, uh, yes, and, yes. And this heart is just uh, the usual abelian category of finite dimensional representations. The, the point is that uh, later on, Rotau will consider derived categories. And at this moment, he only considers abelian categories. Uh -huh. uh, so yeah, so, so let me start, uh, let me continue. Um, I mean, uh, the above equivalence, it is true at a building category level, um, but it is not, it's not true at a uh, derived category level. It's because uh, the right hand side, this category, uh, it is semi-simple, but the left, uh, the left hand side, it is not. Um, the, uh, the geometric static equivalence at the derived category level, it is uh, proved by it is proved by uh, uh, Bazukanikov. And uh, Finkelberg. It says the category of a GO equivalent locally compact uh, the modules on G, it is equivalent to the category of a G check equivalent um, uh, perfect uh, perfect uh, uh, DG modules over the symmetric uh, uh, DG algebra. Here, uh, per, uh, perfect, it, uh, perf, it means perfect. And here, look, it means locally compact. It means this category, it is a full subcategory of DGO GERG. I mean, the derived category of uh, uh, the, the category of uh, GO equivalent uh, the modules on GERG. And this category, it has a forgettable functor to D uh, G, the category, uh, uh, the category of D modules on G, and the locally compact it means uh, become compact after applying this forgettable functor. Uh, in other words, uh, this category it is a pre-image of the compact objects here under this forgettable functor, and then you can you can consider. Then you can take the in the completion of the above equivalence. You obtain the following equivalence: a, a renormalized category of GO equivalent uh, modules on G. It is equivalent to the category of G check equivalent DG modules over same G check minus two. 
Here, on the left-hand side, this category, it is just the unit completion of the above category. Uh, it is, um, um, then there is another version of the geometric static equivalence at the rev category level. It says, um, the category of a GO equivalent, the modules on G, I mean, there is no renormalization here. This category, it is a full subcategory of this renormalized category. And under this, the above equivalence, this category, it corresponds to a category called Uh, the category of G check equivalent DG modules over this symmetric algebra, but with some new potent single support condition. Uh, for for the definition of this guy or this equivalence, um, you can see the work um, uh, single support of int coherent shift. It's a work of the uh, uh, King and uh, Gascari. So it is the first example. I mean, the example of a uh, geometric static equivalence. There is another uh, direction of putting the equivalent condition. Namely, we can consider the Vita Kerr category. Let U be the unipotent radical of a, a Borel subgroup B in G. And we let UF be the loop group of U. And let a key be a non degenerate character of UF. because we know that UF is a subgroup of GF and the GF, it can act on group G from left by the, by the multiplication, sorry. So UF, it can also act on group G. Uh, we can consider the category of UF key equivalent category on group G, which is a full subcategory of D G. It consists of uh, those objects which are UF uh, equivalent uh, against uh, a character shift or a character D module. Okay, I think it's beneficial. Here, as it means exponential the module on A1. And uh, uh, it is shown that the category DUF key GER G, this category is the equivalent to the category of a, uh, uh, the, co uh, the, the co complete category of a representation uh, over G check. It is shown in FTV. Uh, sorry. May I ask a very stupid question, probably, and very naive? Uh -huh. uh, uh, yes. Can you remind how the loop group with values in Lorentz series acts on the Grassmannian? This is true when you assume any some kind of analytic properties that was in the original definition of a fine dress money. But if you multiply two formal series, mm -hmm. Lawrence's, at every degree, you have infinite number of terms, how to make sense of out of them? 
Uh, no, no, mm. the, the, these are uh, uh, Laurent series, uh, so their multiplication is well, well defined. Oh, it's, it's Laurent. Ah, it's you Jeff Laurent. Okay. F denotes Laurent series. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice. sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. By Laurent, you mean that only finite number of singular terms? Right, uh-huh. Right. Mm -hmm. okay. I mean, it is bounded from below. From below, above, whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, thank you. Um, but still, it is hard to d define uh, this equivariant category because uh, uh, the definition of Grassmannian was uh, as union of finite dimensional Schubert varieties. But the orbits of this uh, loop group, uh, unipotent U of F, uh, are all infinite dimensional. So, so it requires some work to make sense of this definition. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, you are right. So I cheated a little bit here. I don't want to go to that detail to, 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 to see the definition, uh, to, to, to see the explicit definition of this category. I mean, maybe, Misha, uh, and, it, uh, and it's not enough to work with an analytic grass money. Not, no, 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 it does, does not help at all. No. Okay, thank you. There are two ways to define this category. One is to use something called a global model um, it is um, uh, people can uh, people realize that this category as a category of the modules on the Greenfield compatibility, which is a finite, uh, which is a, a, an algebraic stack with some equivalent condition. And uh, so, using this global model, we can uh, we can solve the problem of an infinite dimensional orbit. And another one is to use some technique called uh, infinite category, uh, but it's also quite complicated. Um, yeah, so yeah, so I see this work, it is a work of uh, Franco, Descari, and the widow name. Yeah, yeah so it is, uh, uh, so it is, um, some example. Now let us go to the statement of a twisted Gato conjecture. Um, all right, uh, so our plan is to first uh, introduce this statement and then I will, I will explain both sides. Uh, the untwisted Gato uh, conjecture was first proposed in the work um, uh, Briefman uh, Finkelberg and, uh, in the book and uh, Kevin King. Uh, later, when I re uh, when I refer to um, uh, the paper, Mihabolic. Sataki Collins. Later, when I refer to this work, I will just write it as the FGT. Uh, the statement of the untwisted Gato conjecture, it says uh, the category of the H, uh, uh, the category of uh, HMN key. Oh, sorry. Oh, first, I need to see. M, it is an integer no less than zero and uh, smaller than N. Uh, the untwisted Gato conjecture, it says, the category of HMN key equivalent locally compact the modules on GER N. This category, it is equivalent to the category of uh, representations over the uh, degenerate supergroup GL and line. MN. So now let us explain uh, two sides. On the left hand side, we know this this guy, DHMN key look, N, it is some category of the modules on a Grassmannian 
Uh, Probably I missed uh, something. Uh, what is HMN? Uh, yeah, I haven't introduced that. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't defined it yet. I said I want to first give the statement, and then I will explain uh, all the notations using inside. Yeah, I, I will introduce it uh, very soon. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. In this in this definition, I need to I need to explain uh, three things. First, what is HMN and what is key and what is locally compact. Uh, HMN. It is a subgroup of GLNF. If I write it as matrix, then it can be written like this. And uh, it is N times N matrix. And uh, on the left top part, it is GLMO. And on the right hand side, It is something, uh, it is a new potent subgroup, but pay attention um, on the uh, row M plus one, there or uh, zero, and uh, all others they are arbitrary. Here, star belong to F, the field of Lahan series. So uh, using this description, uh, using this definition, we can see HMM, it can be written as a semi-direct product of GLMO, semi-direct product with UMNF. Here, GLMO, it is this part, and uh, UMNF, it is this part. So that is to say HMN, it has two parts. One is the vertical and one is uh, unipotent. And the HMN, it has a character denoted by key from HMN to C. It maps, sorry, it maps H, a matrix H, to the residue of a, um, wait a moment, to the residue of a H M plus one, M plus two, plus H M plus two, M plus three, plus da da da, plus H M minus one, and here, Residue, it means a map from the ring of form of the uh, form of power theory, uh, the ring of a Lohan series F to, to C. It maps sigma A I T I to the coefficients of uh, T power minus one. In other words, the character key, it maps uh, wait, wait a moment, sorry. Uh, the character key, it maps uh, a matrix to the residue of the sum uh, of uh, um, uh, entrance in the di sub-diagonal of the, of the new potent part. The residue of these elements. So uh, now we have already defined what is HMN and what is key. So we can define what is HMN key. Girl N. Um, this category as uh, this category because um, HMN it can be uh, it can be written in this way. So this category, it can be written as the GLMO invariant 
of the category of UMNF key equivalent demodules on GRIA. And this category, it has a naturally defined forgettable functor to the category DUMNF key on GRIA. And uh, the, uh, so now uh, the locally compact, uh, the, lo uh, the locally compact here, it means um, becomes compact after applying this forget function. In other words, the category D H M N T look, it is a full separate category of this, the whole equivalent category. Uh, 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 consisting of those objects which become compact after applying this forgetful functor. Uh, we need to know here. So that, is the inclusion in the right? Uh, inclusion. Uh, it is the equivalence. No, I mean that if you put some condition that it's category uh, of something. Uh, oh, 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 sorry. Uh, yeah, I always confuse about this. No, you mean this one? Mm, yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I, I always made mis uh, I always make this mistake. Um, uh, thank you very much. Um, yeah. So, so we have already defined this category. Mm, um, yeah. Now let us uh, introduce the the, the right hand side. Rep G L underline M N. Namely, we need to we need to explain what is G L underline M N. Um, the 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 super group G L M N. This group uh, was well known. It is the super group associated to the um, the super algebra G L M N. Which is by definition the endomorphism of uh, the super vector space CMN. And this guy, it has a structure of, uh, it has a naturally defined structure of a uh, uh, super Lie algebra. Uh, the one that uh, will be used uh, in our talk it is GL and MN, MN, the degenerate version of a uh, uh, super Lie algebra. Um, it is almost the same. It is almost the same as GLMN, uh, but the super commutator is a little bit different. That is to see as super vector space, GLM, uh, GL and line MN and GLMN, these two uh, super Lie algebra, they are the same, but the super commutator uh, is different. Mm. The supercommutator of GR and LAN MN uh, uh, of any uh, even element with any, any element inside, it, uh, the supercommutator in GR and LAN MN and GR MN, they are the same. But the supercommutator of two odd elements in GR and LAN MN, it is said to be zero. That's the reason why it's called GR and LAN MN. Uh, that's, that's the reason why it's called degenerate. And uh, we let GR and LAN MN be the uh, uh, super algebra as uh, a super group correspond to GR and LAN MN. And uh, we denote by rep GR and LAN MN, the category of uh, representations over this Super algebra, a super group. It has another version. Uh, it, it has another description of this category. It can be written as the category of a GLM times GLN equivalent uh, uh, perfect uh, uh, complex of DG modules over this symmetric algebra. Yeah. 
uh, in so, the work uh, of yeah. sorry sorry in the right hand side uh, yes odd elements correspond to minus this minus one or how they i don't see even graded object in the right hand side uh on the so left hand sorry. side you have a representation of super uh group right and on yes. the left hand side i don't see mm. any traces of um, grading grading uh oh this this I is mean, all, all the even elements mm. what are odd elements and what are even in on the right hand side mm. uh, if my memory is not wrong then i uh, i think uh, mm, uh I, I I remember this this home space uh, uh, this generator it is placed in all the uh, it is placed in uh, all the degree mm. uh, this is what I meant minus one indicates that it's odd degree right mm. yeah so the the parity of all generators is odd. Uh, they are also placed in uh, in the homological degree uh, one, but uh, the, their parity is is also one. They are odd. Uh, for for this reason, uh, the, the symmetric algebra is really symmetric. It's infinite dimensional, because otherwise, according to the usual conventions of homological algebra, the so-called symmetric algebra would be actually uh, exterior algebra and finite dimensional. But, but the generators are all odd. Uh, but we cannot hear you for, I, I cannot hear you for some reason. Uh, I'm saying if all elements on the right hand side of, are of odd parity, so how we get even parity? Well, the, their, their squares are, ah, are, square. are yeah. even. Uh, but, but maybe you would just uh, work in the category of super vector spaces. All those representations by default are in super vector spaces. No, I ask because in on the right hand side, GLM and GLN looks like symmetry, this kind of symmetry. It's hidden yes. somehow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sorry for interrupting. Yeah, but, but left, the left hand side and right hand side, uh, both of them, they look symmetric. symmetric. Mm, I don't see why, because in the left hand uh, side, you have uh, uh, yeah, n-dimensional uh, uh, space of uh, even elements and n-dimensional space. Uh, of but I think the LMN, the, uh, the, 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 the odd part of the, the zero part, it is uh, GLM plus GLN, and uh, GL, this part, it is uh, home CM, CN, um, times the uh, home CN, CM. So it is still symmetric. Thank you. Yeah, uh, but um, mm, yes. Um, if, if we if we uh, if we um, uh, sorry uh, in BFGT, um this this algebra this, this DT algebra it is denoted by uh, BMN one one. Yeah, one one means the grading here. Uh, I mean the place where uh, the grading where the generator placed. And there are another two versions of it called BMN02 and the BMN20. Here, 0, 02 means uh, here it is 0 and here is minus 2. And the 20 means here it is minus 2 and here is 0. Uh, for simplicity, we will just write it as BMN. Mm. Yeah, if we, if we ignore the grading and we uh, identify home cm cn 
as the due space of a home CN, CM, as the due space of a home CN, CM, and I identify home CN, CM as home CM, CN due. Then uh, this category, it is a uh, uh, equivalent to the category of a GLM times GLN on, on home CM, CN times home CN, CM. So it is uh, the right hand side. Um, our untwisted Gato conjecture, it says, um, uh, uh, yeah, so let me still write it here. Uh, if we take the in the completion, then the above uh, equivalence, it says the category of uh, uh, the renormalized category of a uh, uh, HMN key equivalent the modules on GER N, it is equivalent to the category of a GLM times GLN uh, in the coherent shift on this home space. Uh, here is a remark. Uh, when we wonder if we can um, formulate a conjecture of this category, uh, we, if we can form, uh, uh, describe this category as the category of coherent shift on this home space with certain equivalent condition, uh, the answer is yes, uh, using the technique of uh, uh, BFT in uh, uh, Brillman, Finkelberg, Calvin King, and uh, um, and the AG, Ahn King, and Gatsgori. Um, um, we can regard this category as a full separate category of this renormalized category. And under the above equivalence, this category, it goes to uh, this category. So what is new here? Uh, sorry, I haven't defined this category yet. I will say it later. First, let it, uh, so what is new? Uh, new, it is a subspace of a home CM, CN times home CN, CM. Uh, this guy, it has a composition map to home CM, CM, just given by composition, and uh, the new inside, it is a pre-image of the new potent cone in this space uh, under the composition map. And uh, within uh, under this category, it is the category of a GLM times GLN equivalent in the coherent shift on this home space uh, whose a cohomology set theoretically supported on this new on this space. Uh, it is another uh, an, uh, is another version of untwisted Giotto conjecture. Uh, the proof of this guy and this guy, uh, they are almost the same. So we will only, uh, so later, we will only focus on the proof of this one. And uh, for, uh, for, for our convenience, Later, uh, I will write this category 
as C M N REM. And I write this category as C M N REP. Okay, so now what we want to do is to prove C M N REM is equal to C M N REP. Uh, before we go to the proof, let, uh, um, we uh, see some cases of this uh, of this uh, equivalence. If m equal to zero, if m equal to zero, in this case, um, h m n, it is uh, just uh, u f. Namely, it is a subgroup of uh, g l n f and uh, it consists of this object. It is HMN, the spherical part of HMN is vanish. And uh, the key of HMN to C, it is a, a non-degenerate character of HMN. Um, so, um, mm, so, uh, so in this case, C0N when it is, the category of a, a UF T equivalent the modules on group N and uh, C zero N rep. It is the category of a GL N. So it is um, just uh, the work of a uh, uh, FGV. I mean, FGB proved it. So it's a case when m equal to zero. Um, if m equals n minus one, uh, in this case, h m n, it is g l m o, and in this case, uh, the new potent part of h m n is vanish. Mm. So key, the character of HMN to see it's trivial. So we have um, C M M uh, maybe M minus one N run. It is the category of D G L n minus one o ran curve n. The, the renormalized version of gl n minus one o equivalent the modules on curve n. Uh, under the right hand side, it is c n minus one n wrap this, sorry. Mm. Uh, the right hand side, this category, it is a category wrap uh, G L and the land M N uh, G L M uh, G L M minus one N and it is proved. Uh, oh, sorry, here wrap it means the the co-complete version of it, and it is proved in B F G T that this equivalence holds. And uh, uh, we see the statement of our, of our theorem, I mean, this guy. Here, we ask M, it is strictly smaller than N, but the original statement of uh, untwisted Gallo conjecture in BFGT it allows uh, m equals n. Uh, however, in this case, the left hand side, this category, is no longer, uh, it can no longer be regarded as a category of uh, the modules on the Affengras manion with certain equivalent uh, condition. Uh, instead, it can be regarded as a category of uh, the modules on the metabolic uh, Affengras manion. 
with certain equivalent condition. That is to see. Uh, when m equals to n, then in this case, c n minus uh, c c m m ran. It is the category of G L M O uh, equivalent the modules on GER M times F M. Here, uh, the action of uh, G L M O act on this guy uh, diagonally. And the right hand side, it is still the same. Namely, it is the category, I mean, the incompletion, uh, the incompletion of the category of uh, representations over the degenerate um, supergroup, GL underline M, M. And it is still proved um, in BFGT. So, um, uh, um, just uh, sorry. again, Ruther, yeah. please excuse me. Yeah. Uh, the statement you present are all about JLN, which is then so yes. dual. What is the standing of all these results for arbitrary group? Uh, first, you need to make sense of a uh, uh, super. Group. No, because at the beginning you defined this correspondence for any G. And this uh, yes, statement yes, involves yes. Legs, legs dual. And all results you are listing uh -huh. are for JLN case. Yes. So this, are the results for arbitrary G known in this uh, direction? There is, a, uh, there is another um, a work of a BFT, um, which is about also symplectic uh, supergroup. And uh, uh, yeah, it is what I what I know for now. I mean, um, okay, thank you. Is, yeah, yeah, it, it works for, for, for classical for classical groups uh, and uh, for uh, not GLN type. It's related to orthosymplectic supergroups, uh, but for exceptional groups, uh, absolutely no idea. Even Gaiota has no idea about exceptional groups. <laughs> Only for classical ones. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Uh, so uh, where I am? Uh, oh, okay. Um, yeah. Um, an important feature of uh, this equivalence in BFGT, namely this equivalence, CM and REM equal to CM, M, rep. This equivalence in BFGT. Um, um, it is not only an equivalence of a plan uh, DG categories, but also an equivalence of monoidal categories. That is to see uh, on both sides, there are monoidal structures and uh, uh, these monoidal structures, they are compatible with respect to this equivalence. Uh, actually, there are three different uh, monoidal structures on both sides. Uh, we uh, denoted by conf of A, I mean, using the notation in BFGT, conf of A, conf of B, and uh, uh, fusion. And on the right side, they correspond to uh, some uh, uh, monoidal structure called conf of A prime, conf of B prime, and tensor. Namely, this guy goes to this guy, this guy goes to this guy. And the fusion product on the left hand side. And the fusion product on the left hand side, it goes to the tensor product of uh, uh, the uh, category of representations. Um, so now we want, uh, because we will use, uh, in our proof, we will use uh, these two uh, monoidal structures more. So let us briefly recall, uh, recall the definition of these two convolution. 
um, comp of A, okay, uh, instead of uh, uh, explain uh, how to define these two monolithic structures, let me just uh, uh, see what does it look like. The comp of A, when it restricts to, I mean, comp of A is defined for this category, but when it, when it restricts to the affine grass mining part, namely when it restricts to the LMO per M, then comp of A, it is just uh, it is just a convolution. And uh, when it restrict to the tate space part, in FM part, then it is just a tensor product. And uh, it's known that um, um, the comp of A and comp of B, they are related by the Fourier transform. Namely, you, you can see here, there is a FM, FM here. So uh, we can define the Fourier transform for CMM when to itself. And uh, if we uh, modulo some problem of a uh, identify basis, um, then uh, the comp of A goes to comp of B. So as you can imagine, then a comp of B, it should look like this. When it restricts to the fine grass mining part, it is still the euro convolution for the spherical hex category. And when, but when it restricts to here, to the tail space part, then it is given by addition or uh, uh, convolution. Combo B, it has another uh, a description. Uh, namely, we can regard this category, DGLMO, uh, group M times FM, it is the category uh, on near M uh, plus one F left quotient by GLMO and the right quotient by GLMO. Uh, and this category, it has a naturally defined model structure just given by convolution. So this convolution, it is just the combo B. Um, yeah, and a combo of A, combo B, it goes to combo of A prime and the combo of B prime. Uh, the construction of combo of A prime and a combo of B prime uh, in BFGT actually, it's, uh, it works in a more general setting. That is to see, um, given M, uh, three integers, M and L, then C, M, N, rep, uh, 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 the construction of a BFGT, it can be used to define such a functor, C, M, N, rep, C, N, L, rep, to C, M, L rep. Uh, yeah, and uh, if M equals to N equals to L, then this uh, functor, it is just comp of A prime. Um, yeah, this functor, it is uh, associative. So that is to see, we can consider the relative tensor product. This category, uh, this this uh, relative tensor product, by definition, it is the total uh, generalization of the following simple show. Um, by the, this definition, we can see this category. 
it is still a DMS map to CML wrap. Um, using some technique in BFGT, uh, we can actually prove the following thing. CMN wrap, uh, sorry. CM minus one M wrap tensor over CM M wrap with CM N wrap. This category, it is equivalent to the category CM minus one and wrap. So based on this uh, proposition, uh, we only need to show the following two proposition. The first one says, uh, the above proposition, it still holds uh, in the left hand side. That is to see um, um, C M minus one M ran tensor over C M M ran with C M N ran with C M minus one N ran. Uh, this sequence. Uh, the analog of the above equivalence, it still holds uh, in the demodule side. Uh, and another thing we need to show is the equivalence CM minus one M run equivalent to CM minus one M rep. This equivalence in BFGT, it is not only an equivalence of categories, but also it is compatible with left action of a C M minus one, M minus one, run. C M minus one, M minus one, rep. And also, uh, Compatible with red action of a C M M run of a C M M rep of a prime. Yeah, that is to see this category. It has uh, a monodal, uh, it, it has a module category structure with respect to this monodal category and uh, has a red module structure, uh, a red module category structure with respect to this monodal category. And similarly, a similar thing happened on the right hand side. And uh, we need to show that this equivalence, it is compatible with respect to this uh, two actions. Okay, so now let us go to the proof part. Uh, uh, Rutao, yes, one yes. more question for education. Sure. Because yes, you please. stated the result for untwisted Gaiota correspondence, there should be a twisted. What is this about? Oh, um, uh, the, the twisted, um, so let us go to the statement of a. Uh, our theorem, um, uh, maybe a little bit. So what is, uh, what is twisted Gaiota correspondence? Uh, yes, yes, I, I will, uh, I, I, I'm going to explain it. Um, so here you can see the statement. On the left hand side, um, we can consider not only the, um, the, the, the D module on GER N, we can consider the twisted D module on GER N. And on the right hand side, um, um, we can consider the quantum uh, uh, supergroup and the uh, UQGLMN. I mean, here uh, for generic Q, um, uh, for generic Q, uh, we, we, we don't need to take this uh, degenerate version. We, we can just consider the, the original uh, uh, super, uh, super, uh, super, uh, super group. CRMN. 
and when Q is generic, that is to say when Q is not a root, uh, this quantum parameter Q is not a root of unity, then this category, it is expected to be equivalent to the category of uh, representations over this quantum group. And, and it is proven or it's, what the status uh, of this? Uh, 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 in, uh, in the case m equal to zero and m equal to m minus one, and uh, uh, m equal to zero, it has already been proved. And uh, when m equal to m minus one and m equal to n, it has already been proved by uh, by Brimman, Finkelberg, and uh, Tavinti. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. thank you. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, thank you for your question. Uh, okay, so now let us go to the proof. Um, uh, yeah, so uh, mm, what is A? Ah, okay. So for A, we want to show CM, uh, maybe. Okay. Let us just copy it. Okay. Yeah, we want to show this. Mm. And the C M okay. and the C M minus one M ran. It is by definition it is G L M minus one O run for M. This category it is equivalent to the category of a mere M O ram on gur m times uh, hmm? uh wait a minute oh sorry uh, sorry sorry i shouldn't say this um yeah under this category it is can be uh, regarded as a co-limit of uh, the category near M O ran on M with respect to certain transition functor. Here, uh, for given a category C and uh, an indo functor F from C to itself, we denote by co-limit F C the co-limit of uh, the following categories C. Uh, in the category of a uh, uh, infinite uh, two uh, infinite to one category of a co complete uh, stable categories. Um, yeah. Um, so um, mm, so the left hand side of the above equivalence it says uh, it equals co limit of d near m. O ram gur m tensor over c m m uh, ram c m n ram. and uh, uh, this category a mere m o equivalent the modules on gur m it is equivalent to the category of a g l m o ram on gur m times o m and these two categories, they are, they are equivalent to each other, uh, minus uh, USTOM. Uh, it is true because um, we see GLMO as trans, 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 transitively on this space. So it equals, uh, it is equivalent to M times Theta. Here, theta is an element, is a point in this space, and uh, mere MO is a stabilizer of theta. And uh, because this guy acts on this point trivially, so this space, uh, this, this, this category, it is equivalent to the category the mere MO ram for M, which is just this category.
So we can replace um, the bulk limit by limit D G L M O run per M times O M T O M tensor over D G L M O run per M times F M with C M N run. And uh, it is equivalent to the limit of a D G L M O ran on O M erase T O M tensor over D G L M O F M uh, run tensor with C M N run. Note that C M N run. It is D U M N F. Mm. It is a D G L M O. Is U M N F T run on per N. It is equivalent to D U M N F T. On her N, then take G L M O right? So the above equivalence, it is just equivalent to the following D O M T O M tensor with D F M with D U M N key. N, then take G L M O. Uh, so I still have 18 minutes, right? 18 minutes or 20 minutes or 25. Whatever. Uh, how many minutes? Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah because, I, yeah, because I remember I start maybe a little bit late, right? Okay, you have additional. Uh, and how much do you need? 25, uh, half an hour? Yeah, 20, uh, I think 20, 20 or 25. Around okay, that. go ahead. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yes, so the left-hand side, it can be written as this. So let's see what does, what, what is the right-hand side? Uh, uh, oh, sorry. Um, yeah, there is another lemma, which says this co-limit, uh, uh, the co-limit of, of this equivalence, of these categories, it can be written as uh, wet tensor over D F M D U M N T cur N is near M O run. If there is no run, then if there is a uh, no run here, no run here. Then this equivalence it is automatically, but if there is the renormalization, we need to uh, take care. Yeah, but in this case, uh, it's true. So now let's see the right hand side. The right hand side, it is uh, C M minus one N one. Which is D uh, near G L M minus one O semi direct product with U M minus one N F T run on N. And uh, we can show. It is equivalent to the co limit of the following categories. And uh, it is equivalent to 
the collimit of uh, dum as one mf t per n then take near m o ram so let uh, we can see left hand side it is a collimit of this one and the right hand side is collimit of this one so what we only need to show now is left tensor over d f m with d u m n f t on per n this category is equivalent to d u m s one n f t on per n um, let us recall what is U M N F and what is U M S one N F. Um, so here it is. The uh, in both of them, U M S U M N F, and the U M S one N F. Both of them, they are subgroup of a, a T R N F. Uh, but the difference is UMNF, it consists of uh, uh, those elements, uh, those part. It is UMNF. Um, for uh, UM minus one NF, it not only consists of uh, this part, but also a loss this part to be now zero. So uh, we have U M minus one N F. It is, uh, it can be written as uh, a semi-direct product of F M semi-direct product with U M N F. Uh, using this, uh, um, uh, this uh, description we can write d u m minus one n f t uh, 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 t uh, per n it is, it is uh, uh, equivalent to the category um, d u m n f t per n then taking f m T prime equivalent, uh, equivalent. Here, FM, it means this part. And the T prime means taking residue of this element. So uh, with, this, uh, with this, we can, uh, using the uh, uh, Fourier transform, which says it is equivalent to the category wet tensor over D FM with D U M N F T per N, which is exactly this guy. So for now, we have already proved uh, the part A. I mean, we sketchily uh, proved the, um, uh, the, 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 the proposition A. There are some details need to check, but I, I had it during this is explanation. Um, yeah, so it is the proof of part A. Um, then we want to prove B. That is to see the equivalence C M minus one M ram equivalent to C M minus one M rep. This equivalent, uh, this equivalence is compatible with respect to uh, two monodal structures. Uh, one is the MS1, MS1 run, and uh, another one is CM, M, run, and C. And CM, M, rep. Um, we read G star belong to G. L M O look M times F M 
it is the star star extension of the constant shift or the constant d module on one times om erase t o m uh, I mean along the along the locally closed embedding one times o m erase t o m to gr m times f m yeah and uh, we consider um, the functor that to convolve with g star it gives rise to a functor from c m m ren to itself. Uh, this functor is an important monad. We can consider the corresponding capacity category, which is just uh, in that, which is in, uh, in this case, it is just the full subcategory of CMM ren, which is generated by the essential image of this functor, which is denoted by this star of A CMM ren. And uh, yeah, uh, this category, just by definition, we can see it is equivalent to the category of uh, DTLMO run gr m times om erase tom. So we have a uh, uh, cm minus one m run this category. It is equivalent to the co-limit of a G star comp of A C M M run. And similarly, things happened on the right hand side, namely on the representation side. We let C be the object corresponding to G star um, belong to C M M rep. Then we have C M minus one M rep, it is as uh, it is equivalent to the co-limit of C comp of A prime C M M rep. Uh, the equivalence in BFGT it is obtained by taking co-limit of uh, the equivalence of these two uh, categories. So uh, with this observation. Uh, the, comp the compatibility of the left uh, of the right action of the right action it follows immediately that's because uh, the left convolution and the left and the right convolution they always commute with each other so the following uh, diagram commute this star comp of a c m m run tensor c m m run to C M M run uh, G star and the C of A prime C M M rep tensor C M M rep to C of A prime C M M rep. It, uh, yeah, it, it just follows from the fact that left convolution and the right convolution commute. Then the so so the action of uh, this uh, this monodal categories on this equivalence uh, they act from the right hand side. Uh, so uh, and, and then the action of this category on this category it is given by the co-limit of the action of this category on on this. On this uh, equivalence of categories. So we have already proved uh, the comp compatibility of the right action. Uh, then we want to show uh, the, comp the compatibility of the left action. It follows from the following proposition, which says uh, CM minus one and minus one run, it is equivalent to the co-limit 
of G star comp of A, C M M ren comp of A of G star. And uh, similarly, thing happened on the right hand side, C M minus one, M minus one rep is equivalent to the co-limit of C comp of A prime C M M rep comp of A prime C. Um, yeah, after we prove, uh, after we have this proposition, then um, uh, we can show uh, the, the equivalence, uh, the equivalence in BFGT, it is compatible, uh, it, it is compatible with respect to left action. That is, uh, that's because uh, following some general categorical argument, if we have two monoidal categories, which are um, monoidal equivalent to each other, and the C beyond to C, C prime beyond to C prime, uh, then the category C comp of C comp of C, it is a non-unital monoidal category, and it can act on C comp of C, uh, sorry, small C, big C. Uh, and the C prime comp of C prime comp of C prime, it acts on C prime comp of C prime. And uh, the, uh, these two actions, they are compatible, uh, they, uh, they are compatible um, with respect to uh, this uh, the equivalence above. Um, yeah, so, um, yeah, so, so we have already, uh, so, so using uh, the key, uh, using, uh, having this key observation, we can prove uh, our, uh, uh, our proposition B. Um, using the left uh, time, I want to, uh, I want to introduce the, the symmetric, uh, symmetric definition of uh, the twisted, uh, of the untwisted Giato category. I mean, I want to give a symmetric definition of this category. Um, because um, in, uh, in, our, in a statement of untwisted Giato uh, equivalence, um, on the left hand side, uh, on the right hand side, it is just a representation of a certain uh, 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 supergroup. Um, and uh, in this defi definition, it seems M and N, they are sym symmetric, but uh, we don't have any requirement to ask M smaller than N or M equal to N or M bigger than N. There is no such a requirement on the right hand side. But on the left hand side, in order to define this category, in order to make it, in order uh, to make sense, the definition we need to ask m is smaller than n, and uh, when m equals to n, uh, the for, uh, the this uh, the the definition of this category, it, it already looks a little bit different. Namely, we we write write it as some category, mm, some category on per m times f m. So. A uh, question is, is it possible to write this category uh, more symmetrically? Uh, the answer is yes. Uh, if we regard it as a, a category of the modules on the uh, meabolic subgroup. Uh, that is what I want to see. Uh, given L, which is bigger than M and N, here we don't have any requirements for M and N. Uh, we define the category C, M, and L. By definition, it is uh, near, near L, F, left quotient, uh, H, M, L, T, and the red quotient by H M. 
n l t uh, the proposition says um, uh, for any l l prime bigger than m and n we have c m n l It is equivalent to C M N L prime. That is to see the definition as the indeterminate of L. Uh, so uh, let's briefly sketch the proof. Um, the proof. Uh, um, uh, we need to, uh, to 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 do the proof. We first uh, observe. Uh, we make uh, the following observation. Um, the category of the modules on mere uh, uh, L, F, it is equivalent to the category mere L plus one F left quotient by F, L, T and the right quotient by F, L, T. Uh, here is the proof. The proof is um, uh, uh, is still use the Fourier transform, namely the right hand side, B F L T mirror R plus one F quotient. This one, it is equivalent to vector tensor D F L is D mirror r plus one f tensor with left over d f l. Here, the action of a d f l act on vect. I mean, both actions. I mean, this action and this action. Both action the are given by uh, taking shrink restriction. Taking shrink restriction along E L uh, to F L. Here E L is a base in F L. Namely uh, E1, E2 until E L, they are base, they are base of F L and E L is is one of it. Um, and the action of D F L on D mirror R plus one F. Uh, I mean, two actions, they are different. The first one, it is given by uh, taking the restriction along the folding map. We have mirror R plus one F. It is isomorphic to G L L F semi direct product with FL, then you take uh, projection to FL. And uh, the first section, it is given by take shrink um, pull back along this map. And the second one, it is given by taking shrink pull back along the folding map, uh, along another map. Namely, um, Mirabolic uh, subgroup mirror M um, uh, L plus one F. It has two uh, map to F L. Uh, one is to uh, one is to right and another one to left. They are differ by a group action. Mm. Using this uh, description, uh, we can show that this category it is equivalent to the category of D H. Here H. Uh, it uh, it consists of the folding element where H V belong to mere R plus one F here H uh, sorry uh, here H belong to G L L F and V belong to F L and we ask uh, H times V equals E L and V equals E L. 
And uh, using this uh, description, we can see this category. It is nothing but just the mere LF. So we have already proved this lemma. Uh, after proof this lemma, D mere LF equivalent to D F M uh, F L T mere L plus one F red quotient F L T. Yeah, we have already proved this. Then taking a uh, uh, left uh, uh, invariant with respect to H M L T and the red invariant with respect to H N L T, we can we obtain that C M N L is equivalent to C M N R plus. Then just using the induction, we can show that C M N L is equivalent to C M N L prime for any L and L prime bigger than M and N. Yeah, so maybe I can stop here. Thank you. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought uh, I got lost. I thought I got lost uh, to the connection. No, no. 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 Okay. Uh, okay. Sorry. Uh, I have maybe a very stupid question. Uh, what is the underlying physical intuition or theory underlying uh, this result? Because uh, uh -huh. did, did, did Gaiota stated his conjecture in these pure mathematical terms, or is just reformulation found by more advanced people? So what, what, what is the corresponding physical meaning of this? equivalence. Maybe Misha can. Yeah, maybe uh, Misha can uh, help no. you with that. <laughs> I, I don't know. No, unfortunately, I cannot. Uh, so, so I know that the um, words are something like, like boundary conditions, but uh, um, I, I can, cannot re repeat them. It, it maybe, uh, maybe, is maybe Sasha Braverman would be a, a yeah. appropriate person. Uh, uh, no, it would be nice just to, to to understand what's the origin of this conjecture, because I doubt that Coyote stated in such a pure mathematical terms, although he can, but... Mm -hmm. So anyone knows, or should, should we ask Sasha to give some... Yeah, yeah I, I have like... Maybe yeah. I guess, uh, but more like a question because, like, is this something like there, there is only one Gaiota, and Gaiota has uh, some statement about uh, eight reality in sense of like corner algebras and the uh, isomorphic under some permutation of indices. And like the, the categories appearing here are like uh, somehow very similar to the. To like to, to, to how the algebra is constructed. Um, maybe this is like some categorification of this result or something like. Yeah, also, yeah, Bori Fagan once explained something uh, related to this reality uh, in connection with Gaiota conjecture. So maybe it makes sense to ask. No, you, you see, it would be nice to have more broader picture mm -hmm. of what's going on because uh it's worth to try so we should work on that so i'm going to ask sasha or maybe yeah. he can ask gaiota to to give us more pedestrian mm -hmm. approach to this well, thing in, in fact it's, it's also related to uh this famous uh ben Svisi, Kalaridis, uh and the ben -Ben katesh periods l functions uh du duality mm -hmm. uh, uh, i think 
I think the connection, it happens in the case m equal to m minus one and uh, m equal to n, right? Uh, it, uh, is there a uh, same connection for, 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 for other n, uh, for, no, for other maybe n and n? Literally in these two cases, or, and, but uh, maybe there is some Whitaker extension to, to uh -huh. other cases as well. Yeah, yes. Okay. More remarks? Questions? Uh, okay, then just thanks, Ruta, for your talk. Uh, yes, thank you. We, 